Hey guys, it's Susie, the organized farm girl. How are we today? Hope we're all well. I am in uh, at my in-laws house. As you can see, a beautiful day here in southeast Queensland. Um, welcome to part two. So just if you missed the first video, we bought a block of land that is mostly weeds at this point and uh, part two is really about um, our journey over the last couple of months to kind of bring you up to speed is you know kind of letting you know where we're currently at um, we've done quite a bit in a relatively short period of time so um, now that the block has been purchased enjoy the next phase which is how do we get infrastructure on it so that we can uh, put some animals on it because hopefully sort of we're moving with the direction of um, sheep and chickens. So enjoy. vacant block of land our block of land full of rat's tail grass um, I guess the first thing that we ended up doing was um, trying to figure out how we get on to the block so we we bought a secondhand tractor um, unfortunately it's a bit out of action at the moment but that's a whole other story but once that was done the first thing that went up was all the fencing so we did all the fencing um, over uh, several weeks um, we decided to go with um, dog netting because obviously we're going to be uh, accumulating some sheep uh, so we did the whole perimeter of the 22-ish acres and then after that um, it was sort of onto the house we did get, dug a big electrical trench down the driveway it was roughly about 300 meters it was quite a costly activity to do but um we've got three kids so it kind of made sense to build the block a little bit further down so the block's in a big sort of battle axe shape so where it kicks off to the right toward the creek uh that's when we that's where we decided to put the house pad so it was a bit probably the best decision um you know in the long run uh just gives us a little bit more privacy away from the main road which is like 100 kilometers an hour so here you can see where the house pad um, eventually did end up going um, we also got uh, some crusher dust to do the driveway as well so everything sort of kicked off was going really well uh, the excavator turned up and accidentally took most of our road base but that that happens um, but they ended up getting it done perfectly fine they led the slab fine we went with a steel frame home um, they came and sort of constructed that it just sort of felt like it was taking forever and then all of a sudden it was up um, so the concrete part of it where they put in the footings and all sorts of delays with the actual concrete itself so we're probably at about maybe 50 days delayed now but as you can see I'm super thrilled about it I am loving having the slab once they did that they came and sort of marked out where all the rooms and stuff go I guess I can't remember what this was called but it had a particular name where they sort of marked everything out um, so once that was done, uh, the frame had already been there, it had been sitting there for a few weeks, so once they dropped that off, they pretty much assembled it like it was quite fast. So they got the frame up, um, and then um, the next sort of thing that happened after that, um, which I'll give you an update on shortly, was the them sticking the roof up. So, oh, we can hear Frank barking in the background. Anyway, there's the shed slab there. That's um, taking shape as well. So yeah, we are cooking with gas. So looking forward to bringing you the next um, next update and how we're going because we got a shed now and uh, the roof's up. When you hear dogs barking in my videos, it's either this one, that's Phoebe, or it's Frank. Excuse me. What are you doing? What are you barking at? Hey, he looks like a loaf of sourdough. Come on, you ain't fending anyone off with those rolls. <laughs> 